Hey guys, I'm Boot. We're in New Jersey and this is Allie. Today, I'm going to give Allie a taste of what it's like to be an unboxer and a little bit of a techie. So, what we're going to unbox today is the iPhone 11 Pro Max that she just picked up. I decided not to because I just got into the iPhone uh, ecosystem and I'm still a little bit weary of it. I really enjoy how shit just works. <laughs> yeah, it's like, great. It, it works really well and I haven't had too many problems aside from the stuff I can't get into because I'm so used to on Android actually getting into the files and changing things and moving things and storing things. Um, but on an iPhone you don't really have too much of an opportunity to do that. You can download things but that's about it unless you jailbreak it and then make files and move stuff. I digress. Let's get back to this. Allie's going to go ahead and unbox this thing for you guys and then we'll come back, talk about the specs, and even check out some of the video on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so here today is the iPhone 11 Pro Max which I got through Walmart.com for $1,099 US dollars plus tax. Plus the protection plan which covers up to $4,999.99. ,99. But the phone is only $1,100 so I won't have to worry about that. The cost of the plan was also $199.99. The plan is good for three years, so if I break my phone, I probably will do it before that three year mark. Fingers crossed. My last phone was the 6S Plus, which had an A9 processor and two gigs of RAM. So this is a nice upgrade to the A13 chip and four gigs of RAM. Also the screen size is one inch larger at 6.5 inches. And the camera, well, let's have a look at the camera. So this is the front facing camera which is a 12 megapixel camera and it's not too bad but where we really see the improvement is on the back camera. This thing has not one, not two, but three 12 megapixel cameras. Does that equal 36 megapixels? I don't know, but it sure looks good. Working in tandem at 1080p and 60 frames per second, this also can do up to 4K at 60 frames per second and adjust for low light to give you crystal clear and industry worthy photography and video. As seen in the Lady Gaga music video, Stupid Love, but that was with the iPhone Pro. This is the Pro Max. Aside from its 3,969 milliamp hour battery, it is literally the same size as my 6S Plus, but the screen real estate is where it's at. Here we go. Oh geez. It looks very breakable, and that's what I see. It looks like the same size as my other phone. This is my iPhone 6S Plus, and this is the iPhone 11 Max Pro. So they look really similar right off the bat, except for the three cameras. But size-wise, the iPhone 6 Plus is wider. So let me uh, see what it comes with. Oh, it comes with the uh, it's a USB wall charger. Uh, they gave me headphones, which I don't know why, because I thought this has no headphone jack, but those have wires. Unless they're Bluetooth and that's just a- oh, That's lightning. So this is a lightning port, I guess, for the headphones, but they don't, you can't connect headphones to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I don't understand why they gave me headphones that attach. This is a lightning port. This is the proprietary bullshit. No, there's nowhere that this would connect to a charger. So trying to charge your phone. Here's a lightning port for your headphones. Fucking garbage. This is garbage. Why in this day and age are they not giving you in 20 20. Why are they not giving you for an $1,100 phone a pair of AirPods that are what? $200? I don't know how much they are. I heard they that's, were like that's 300. Ridiculous. Now here on the charging cable, the charging cable is lightning and it looks to be, yep, it's type C. So this is a very hard charger to get if you need that kind of thing. But why it's type C, I guess, is so it can plug into the computer that way. But you're still going to need to plug in your old dongle if you don't have a USB-C dongle or USB-C connector on your computer. So I can't use this in my charging port? What Which is it? kind of BS of this one. Um, I mean in 2020 they really are letting you down. So they gave you a pair of headphones that only connects to an iPhone. 
It connects to nothing else. Literally nothing else. Yeah. Well. So that's the one downgrade is that you got the headphones for eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, right now we're transferring data from Ali's phone over to the new phone, and you can see the new phone is quite nice, nicely lit. It's very, very, um, bright. very bright. Yeah, it looks literally like paper to me on top of the phone. It really does. It's, it's so it's crazy. So... It looks like a sticker. The you know? camera doesn't do it justice, though. No, not at all. Uh, it's transfer know where. complete. It's transfer complete, but this blacked out. So let me. Oh, okay, I guess it's going to restart the phone. Um, so right now we're just going to do this whatever update thing, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're back at the terms and conditions. We're going to agree, because I want to become part of a human centipede someday, or maybe you will. We're updating iCloud settings. Hopefully we can transfer text messages and everything over with no problems. I know a lot of that stuff goes through iCloud, but I think I disabled my iCloud because it doesn't have enough storage for me. It's only, what, two gigs or something like that? Yeah. Or maybe five gigs. Okay, so this one's 64 gigs. This one's 32 gigs. True tone display. So without it, it's more blue. So we'll just go continue. And swipe up from the bottom edge at any time to go home. So continue. Switch between recent apps. Uh, how do you do that? Oh, you just slide back and forth. Oh, that's easy. Oh, no, you slide up and hold. And then you go back and forth to switch between your apps. Okay. Um, quickly access controls. So on this one where you slide upwards to get your controls, this one you slide down from this corner to get at your control screen. So we're going to go continue. Welcome to the iPhone. Swipe up to get started. To get started? Jesus Christ, I've been doing this forever. Oh, look at that. Oh, it, it transferred. actually literally transferred. Yeah, it's um, almost the same exact stuff. It's <laughs> just downloading all the stuff you have. kept through. That's yeah, the lever. That's the best. Idea. Uh, so it kept all that stuff and it kept your text messages, Sweet. which is really nice. Um, so right now it's going to install stuff. Okay, so this is the old phone at full brightness and this is at full brightness on the uh, 11 Pro Max. It's so Big much brighter. difference, so much brighter, so much more clear. And again, I mean, it looks like a sticker over the top of the it, phone. It does. It's, it's so crazy. strange. And the screen real estate, I mean, you know, before like I thought about it and I was like, there's no thumb reference here, so that's kind of be the fact that you have to do face ID. I feel like that can be fake with pictures, which I'm sure we'll try in a later video. But, um, and the fact that you can grab the screen from here, it actually looks like it kept all your settings. Yeah, that's pretty Exactly cool. the same, which is nice. And we'll come back when everything's loaded up and go from there. Okay, so with this phone here, this is the uh, 6S, and we, as you can see, Got these heavy duty OtterBox cases. This one's mine, it's the same as Allie's, but it has a uh, magnetic thing for in the car, or I even have one of these mounts by the bed. So I can just stick it up there and see what I'm, you know, see what I'm getting. Anyways, so on Amazon, we ended up picking up for like $6.68 a case for this thing. Um, they didn't have OtterBox. Strangely, all they had was the thin cases for the OtterBox. But, you know, these are the rugged cases. We really enjoyed using these because we've dropped our phones hundreds of times. So we're going to go ahead and put this on and then we're going to make sure everything's all good and make sure everything's set up. And then we will come back after I get the case on. Okay, so I got the case on this thing and the case is a little bit janky in a couple of ways. Um, first and foremost, that there's no screen protector and there's no camera protector. And as you can see, the camera is also a little out of center here, which makes me a little nuts because I'm a little OCD. Along with that, the silencer switch here, or the uh, you know do not disturb switch, is also a little bit off. It's a little bit far over to the left. And when we look down here, of course, there's no headphone ports like on the old phone, but we do have the charging port, and the charging port is actually centered on this, which is surprisingly. And the speakers are good, like uh, fit there. So it's not too crazy off, but it's basically just the camera, which is just a little bit off. If you're not too finicky, that's fine. If you're like me and have OCD, you're not that happy about it. But these uh, are not protected either. And I think that's kind of a crappy way to make a phone case. On the other hand, it's not my phone, so I don't have to worry about it. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as I don't know if you can yep. see it. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the price you pay for doing business with Apple. 
anyways, let's take this thing back out and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So basically this thing is a lot better than the 6S Plus in a lot of ways. Now I continue to use my 6S Plus every day. Here's how I break it down. Our phones originally were $249. The 11 Pro Max was $1,100. So basically that breaks down into something around four or five years. And of course, I think the life cycle of these things is like five years, right? I Something like know. that. There, are, anyways, Apple has a long life cycle with their products. They're very uh, environmentally friendly when it comes to uh, the upcycle, the life cycles of their products. But I think my iPhone can get a little more, so I'm going to hold off on upgrading. And Allie got the upgrade this time. Yeah. So I'm sure she's very happy about that. Yeah, I I really think it's just a really beautiful phone. I mean, I haven't used it much, so I'll have to get back to you on how much I like it. But initial reaction is the screen is 10,000 times better than the 6S Plus. It literally looks like paper was taped onto the front of the, the phone. Yeah, it was really it's amazing so to look at. It's so clear and pr like pretty. And, you know, it just, I love that. It was so nice. But, I you know, and the camera is like amazing fantastic yeah what you were shooting at 1080 60 frames per second yeah the thing can do up to 4k at 60 frames per second and that's i mean that's kind of the same but when you look at it the image stabilization is so much nicer i really um, just moving it. it around it's the camera we're shooting on right now um I, I just got a canon eos so it is a very nice camera and i noticed that the image stabilization is very very much the same as on the iphone but Here's the one thing that I have a problem with. In the box, we saw that it had the uh, lightning cable to USB-C, which is nice if you have USB-C, but every computer uses USB-A. So while USB-C may become, you know, adopted around the world for certain things, it's a male USB-C. What am I plugging it into? My Chromebook? Her new laptop? Is that the only way she's going to get a charge? We use charging stations with regular... Uh, USB-A type connectors. So it's going to make it a pain in the ass. We're going to have to use the uh, original, uh, you know, iPhone 6S chargers um, unless you're going to plug it into a wall. Yeah, I'm going to have to plug mine into the wall until I can get either a new charging port or figure something else out. But it, I actually, I really can't. I have to either get a new charging port or use the wall uh, attachment adapter. for the adapter for my phone because there's nowhere else I can charge the phone. It's mm -hmm. A different totally different charger than the 6s plus altogether so the other thing that I'm a little bit pissed off about is um, my iPhone came with a headphone jack hers didn't what they gave her instead of AirPods what they should have given with the phone Apple in their cheap ass bullshit gave her a lightning connector headphone jack I'm so confused now and that, stupefied by that because what are you going to plug that into other than your iphone but that would have been better and i don't know if like it had a way to like charge your phone as you were using the headphones yeah that's another thing there is no dongle extension there's nothing it's just but plug it's your not. phone in and you're shit out of luck to charge but also that's probably they want you to spend the two or three hundred dollars it costs to get the apple airpods they yeah. want you to spend more money so. right of course it's a very expensive uh, economy in the Apple world. Eleven hundred isn't enough to spend on their phone, so you need right. to buy all their products. Right, well. of course. This is the first tech video that Ali's actually been in, so we'll see that when it's all together. But anyways, thank you so much for finally doing a <laughs> tech video. It warms the, the cockles of my heart. Oh boy. Anyways, there's one small caveat to this whole entire iPhone business, and that's I didn't see 5G on it. And if it has an update where, you know, the, it updated and it does 5G and we just don't see that because we're in a bad service area or, you know, or they just don't do 5G, that's going to be really crappy, especially to compete with some of the other flagship Android phones. Yeah. But we'll see how that shakes out and we'll come back with an update on how her phone is doing. And that's about all we got. So thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.